everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. Google is hiring. Yes, you heard it right. Google is hiring software engineering interns. So now you have a chance to get an internship at Google. The last day to apply for this internship is 21st of July, but apply as soon as possible. But wait, before you go and start applying for this internship, let me just tell you one thing which is going to play a crucial role if you know you want to get selected as an intern in Google and that is your skills. Yeah, we know it's Google. So here skills matter more than just your conventional degree or your college name or anything else. So if you have skills, if you are a skilled person, then only apply for this internship at Google. Right. If you have experience of using those general purpose programming languages, right, C, C++, Java, Python, any one programming language, you should be very good in any one programming language or your knowledge of data structure, algorithms, system design, design, then only apply for this because this is the minimum qualification they need for this internship. Right. And if you don't have these skills, better to get these because yeah, obviously in future you will apply in any other internship in any other company or you are going to sit in placement, then definitely you need skills. So now it's time to start up working on yourself, upgrade yourself, upgrade your skills, develop new skills, learn the things which will help you to get a high paying job, work on your data structure, algorithms and programming languages, learn those in demand skills, data science, machine learning, AI, generative AI, chat GPT, digital marketing and these things. But from where you get these skills, from where to start learning for these things. Let me help you here. There is a platform Geeks for Geeks which provides you many courses from data structures to development to data science, machine learning, AI, generative AI, digital marketing and many courses are there, many premium and you know structured courses are there on GFG and obviously these are paid courses. But now you can get these premium courses, these paid courses almost free of cost. But how? See, do you remember that buzz around the uh, 390 challenge back in the previous months? Well, that is that again. And what is this 390 challenge? You get, you purchase any one course from GFG, complete at least 90% of that course within 90 days and get 90% refund of whatever the fee you have paid for that course. See, the condition to get refund of this 90% is what you have to complete at least 90% of that course within 90 days of the course purchase date, right? So it means now you can purchase more, learn more, and save more. So this challenge basically provides you a structured and motivating way to enhance your skills, enabling you to advance in your career and secure a high paying job. So upgrade your skills or develop new ones which are currently high in demand from JFG. So here you will get like from data structure from DSA to development to data science, machine learning, AI, digital, uh, you know, marketing, generative AI, chat GPT, competitive programming, DevOps, React and all the courses you will get here, structured courses. Plus, they have the doubt resolution support as well. So choose the one for you and make yourself job ready. Master any skill end to end and make yourself irreplaceable. So what are you waiting for? Avail your 90% refund today only. Upskill at almost no cost. So all the relevant links and details you will get in the description box of this video, you go and check out. So now let me tell you the eligibility criteria to apply for this internship. The students who are, you know, pursuing their bachelor's, master's or dual degree in computer science or related field, those students can apply. BC, MCA students can also apply for this. So now without wasting more time, let's just discuss how to apply for this internship. So the link you will get in description box of this video. So once you click on that link, you will be redirected to this page. This is Software Engineering Intern Summer 2025 at Google. See the location Bangalore, Karnataka, Hyderabad, Telangana and one is Pune, right? So the last date is 21st of July. Right, the internship would start in May and June and it would be 10 or 12 weeks in duration. Right, <clears throat> okay. This is the, uh, this internship is for the students who are pursuing a bachelor degree, master degree or dual degree in computer science or a related field. Right, so you need to up upload a CV, resume. So see your selection would be on the basis of CV. They are going to call you and then after that obviously the interview and all. But now you got the point now your CV should be strong. Right. So whatever they need, the skills, what are the skills required, the minimum qualification. Currently pursuing this, okay, this I have told you. Now experience with one or more general purpose programming language like C, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript or Go, etc. Right? And you have experience of working in Unix and Linux environment. And then this is minimum qualification, right? To apply for this internship. And experience with the data structure, algorithm and software design, right? But preferred qualification is the candidates who are in their penultimate year, those candidates would get higher preference. Penultimate year means? Uh, in their third year, I mean, if your degree is of four year, then you should be in third year. And if your degree is of three year, you should be in second year or the year before your graduating year. That will be penalty. That is the penalty year. So those 
would be given higher preference, right? And those who are having ability to work on some projects related to mobile development, distributed and parallel systems, machine learning, information retrieval, NLP, networking, developing large software systems, security software developments, right? So if you have some projects related to these things in your CV, then definitely you will be getting higher preference. Right. So if you have worked on any such kind of projects, you can update your resume and CV and just add these things, these kind of projects. Right. Ability to showcase tech projects and participate in computer science related extracurricular activities like maybe hackathons, these kind of activities. Right. So if you have participated in these kind of activities, hackathons or any coding contest or you have any great rank in those coding contest platform or maybe uh, you have done some great projects or you have showcased your project somewhere maybe in any conference or in a seminar or anything, these kind of things, please add these things in your resume. That will definitely add weightage to your resume. It will be 10 to 12 week paid internship, right? So about the this job offer, you can uh, read. Responsibility would be, you're supposed to research, create and develop software applications to extend and improve on Google product offering, right? So these, these, these are the responsibilities if you got selected. The, so please read out these things also. Now, how to apply? So just click on this apply button and there are five steps. You have to create your profile, just your name, country, phone number and create profile. Now, after that, you are supposed to upload your resume, but please make a strong resume. Then contact details, higher education if yes, then yes, then your school name and all. And in degree, whatever degree you are, doing right and uh, this degree status under degree status you are supposed to uh, select now attending right because you are not graduate now if you are doing any degree if you are still pursuing any degree right so uh, country reason and then you have to upload a transcript it could be a screenshot or other version of document with or without any authorized seal it can be official or unofficial right Transcript is nothing but just in a written like what are you what you are pursuing and uh, in previous semesters and those uh, you know years what are your percentage CGP and all that is transcript nothing else. Applying for your first job what skills you have whatever skills you have just add those skills like any technical skills you know any programming language or like digital marketing or anything computer science related skills just add those things cover letter it's optional then just take these thing and submit profile and continue then the third point is this role information so uh, they then you are going to select like you have to select the location where you want to do this internship Bangalore, Telangana, Pune or whatever the options are there just select those or they'll ask like you have uh, authorization of working in India or not yes obviously you are from India so you have authorization just yes and uh, that's it. After that, you just have to review the information and apply. That is it. So this is a golden opportunity for you guys, those who want to work at Google, right? Please apply. The link you will get in the description box of this video. And if you have any doubt or you are facing any problem, you can just let, let me know in the comment section. Right. So uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Take care.